All right, gang, I just want to do a quick clip here showing you my surgery preparation. I get to drink three of these a day for the next three days, Insure. Never had one before. I want to see if it's any good. Ethan said, oh, no, they're good. We'll see. I'll tell you in a second. Now, I happen to be a bigger chocolate fan than I am a vanilla fan, so I said, hey, make them all chocolate except for one. I'll try one. So here we go. Bottoms up. It's okay. It tastes like Slim Fast if you ever had that. I used to drink that every once in a while back in the 90s. Yeah, they want to prep me. It's 350 calories. Good Lord. Although they said this isn't going to be a meal substitution. They said I can eat regularly except for, I guess, the day before the surgery. And then, of course, the day of the surgery. I can't eat until after at some point. But So I'm going to pound down a bunch of food for the next two days. And then i got to cool out. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my insure. Well, today's surgery day. Turn on a light. Hey, surgery day. So I'm heading down to the hospital, and we're gonna get this thing done. Hopefully, uh, it all goes well. We already said our prayers for the surgeon and the staff. And I'll report back to you here when we got more to report. Thanks for all the prayers, guys. I'm laying here ready to be wheeled in, knocked out, cut open, stitched up, stapled, sutured. Everyone seems to be in good spirits. And uh, I feel like I'm in good hands. So we'll see when they wheel me out and I'm woken up. And Well, today is, I don't even know what today is. It's Tuesday, I think. So I had my surgery about 24 hours ago or so. And uh, this is the first video clip I'm doing since then. I was in recovery for way longer than I probably should have been. And that's because they were concerned about my shallow breathing. And as a matter of fact, at one point, the machine started making some weird beeps. And the gal that was uh, overseeing me, the nurse, started like throwing things around. She was getting, you could tell she was visibly concerned, I guess. And uh, she said, breathe deep, breathe deep. I said, what's wrong? She said, you're making me scared. I said, uh, uh, you're making me scared. Well, anyway, I'm in a room now. I spent the night. Um, they got me on some good pain meds, which is cool. Um, I actually ate a little bit of the hospital food, which was okay. And um, my wife should be bringing me something to eat later today when she gets out of work she's getting out around 10 30 or so so i'll probably have some lunch and i just don't know what to eat my appetite isn't really there but uh, i do need to eat something and i want to eat something uh, that i normally wouldn't get like maybe a cheeseburger or something i don't know so i'm hoping to be out of here by tomorrow they just got to make sure everything's working its way through me the way it's supposed to and that hasn't happened yet but I'll keep you up to date. Look at that. We got our maiden fire going here. It is Tuesday night. I got home from the hospital a couple hours ago. Um, I'm feeling okay, guys. And thanks for all the well wishes. I got them in my email, my text messaging, on uh, Facebook, and on YouTube. So thanks, guys. But it's going to be getting down to about 42 degrees tonight. And tomorrow night, 39 degrees. So I thought, you know what? Let's give this a try and do our maiden voyage and see how she works out. So far, so good. I used uh, the dry wood that I showed you guys in earlier videos, and I used some of the bark as kind of a fire starter that fell off, because that is pretty dang dry. So down here I have the blower knob, I can turn it up or down or off, and this is the damper, you push it in, it chokes down, and you pull it out, and it lets a lot more air in there, and the fire gets hot. So. We're going to have to mess around and see what's what. It seems like it's highly sensitive. If you just move it a little bit, it'll have a big impact, but it isn't immediate. It takes, you know, a minute or so for, for the fire to see how it's going to react to that to that particular airflow. We're going to mess with it a little bit and hopefully get this dialed in. It's kicking off some nice heat right now. We've got a ceiling fan overhead because we're kind of in a two-story 
it's a vaulted ceiling. So we have the ceiling fan overhead that's pushing the heat back down, but we do want some of it to get upstairs for the bedrooms as well. So we'll see how this does, and again, we're trying to just reduce our dependence on, on energy, and since, since we have an electric heat pump, that's a hefty amount of energy being used. So if we can reduce that and just use this and a couple of fans, like the blower and the fan up top, and we can get a 30 to 50 percent reduction in our heating cost, that's a win. Look at Dixie's attacking her now.